All right, here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, God, it dropped. That was that big, like, four-inch <laughs> yeah. music oh. And we are into another new hour in sensitivity training for a politically correct world. Today is Wednesday, June the 12th, 2024. I'm Woody, that's Ravy. Hello. Greg, Gore, good morning. Good morning, Woody. Menace, good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. We've got Seabass. We are out here. There's Sammy. Good morning. Phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. That is 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. Seabass has his uh, science lab coat on. That's because... Sweet. Time for Science with Seabass. Science oh, with nice. Seabass. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Science with Seabass is happening this hour. Now, is this an experiment? Are we learning something? We are what? definitely, it's, we're learning. We're doing a little show and tell. Okay. okay. It's, uh, but I'll give you the category today is biology. 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 Okay. okay. Science Fun. with Seabass biology. All what right. are we learning? Well, right now we're going to learn, Greg, yeah. about cicadas. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Well, wow. it's a, look. Damn it. It's uh, there's two broods, right? Right. Yep. And unfortunately, here we, uh, we're at the end of the big cicada double brood explosion. And right. I've been, I was wanted this whole like six or, or eight weeks. I wanted, let's get Greg to central Illinois where both of the broods are just exploding. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> and, and don't look now, but here comes Vaughn with a cooler full of cicadas. <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, Good God. Wow. I just threw my neck you out. Greg get, just jumped. You should have seen Greg, Greg jump. Wow. Because I don't have any the live fear cicadas for was you. was so real. I and do they're have. all alive. They're going to start uh, yeah, jumping, jumping around. I got whiplash. <laughs> yeah. That was a true so whiplash take. It really oh, was. I'm sure we'll have it that was. on video. Uh, I've got a coloring uh, activity for you, Greg. It's the oh. life cycle of cicadas. Oh. Oh. Sammy, pass that around. Can we yeah. flip the page to where the life cycle ends? <laughs> well, unfortunately. Oh, God. Yeah, so. Okay, now, Greg, you can kind of talk about it. Oh, God. There are okay. four basic, basic parts in the life cycle of a cicada. What are they, according to your coloring book, Greg? Okay. Well, this would be eggs, where right. which looks like little rice. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. And then nymph, which means they're super horny, can't get enough. <laughs> no, I think, guess that means, like, young. Right. Uh, malt, yeah. when they literally come out of their uh-huh. shell. Yeah. Literally come yeah. out of the shell. And then adult, when they're humongous. <laughs> oh. Okay. How large do you think these Amer- North American cicadas honestly are when you say humongous? Um, I'm guessing, let's say, two inches long. Because this this one on the on the page, it looks like it almost would be to scale. It kind of yeah, does. Yeah, kind of. Oh, That's wow. about right, Greg. Yeah, yep. About two inches, maybe. And I, yeah, I've got one for you, actually. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. What? what is this? What? Oh, whoa. What is that? Oh, oh it's God. on. Settle down, Menace. It's on a stick. Menace. It's not a oh, life, dude. Oh, 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 oh. So I've got these sticks uh, with cicadas on the end of them. I've yeah. managed to okay. tangle them all together. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why oh. we can have them dance around Greg's head like they're really fun. Oh, no way. I, I really oh. It. It's not touching you. Nope. And I don't I, care. I, I screwed my own pooch because now they're all tangled together. Oh. Really oh. I was hiding them. Oh. Sammy's doing a good job oh, untangling them. It's, yeah. it's yeah. like you went fishing with some friends. They're basically on leashes. Yeah, so he's got some like wooden dowel rods and he's got like some fishing line and then the cicadas are on the fishing line. Let's bring them all together over to Greg so he can see. This is what happens when they fly around and get you. Oh. Oh, see, oh, Greg. Okay, so this is a this is a controlled safe way exactly to understand what it might be like yep. if you were in a place where they like were all Illinois, around Illinois, where the double brood is without happening. any real danger the, of there's, death. Yeah, there's danger to my well being as why it's a, like, because it's, you know it's my, not, but it's not touching. It's like, not no, touching. I don't care if it's not. T- oh, that's so sick. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this is oh, not oh my god, it's on the oh, ground. Oh, it's, it's on the ground. It's on the ground. It's, just it's on the ground. Science. It's on the ground. This is torture. Right. Oh, it's right at my feet. How much yeah. to pick it up with your mouth? <laughs> 17 <laughs> trillion. 17 trillion? Yes. I, lost I don't have I lost that on me. I've little cicada <laughs> marionette so far. How much to pick it up with your fingers? Here's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Your mouth. So uh, now cicadas. 50,000. 50,000. Those things, they're maybe two inches. Can you describe what you see on the floor there, Greg? Okay. Yes, it's like a dark brown, hard shell. Looks like a cockroach. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and it has a swastika on its head. What? Because it's a... You know, oh, satanic oh, Nazi demon. Because it's a, d- a, yeah, okay. a Nazi demon. Right, yeah. Did here. you put a swastika on it? No. no. Uh, <laughs> it should have one. What? I thought maybe like Seabass <laughs> dressed oh, him God, up. That one's way bigger. Oh. Get it. Ah. Let me right. see. Oh, that's sick. I gave Menace one of my little marionette sticks so he can oh. fly around Greg. Here, let and me that see. has like a more of a reddish hue to yeah, it. Hey, well, hey, now, hey. The, the distinctive characteristic of North American oh. cicadas are those cute little eyeballs, Greg. Oh, look at oh. that baby deer. Little Get it closer to Greg so you can see. He's way too far away, Menace. The wings are... 
uh, mm-hmm. what's the word? Translucent. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. And very. Uh, v- like I like the coloring on this or, one. Or, 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 or yeah, it's very distinct. Sammy, hold on you for a moment and show it to Greg real close. Oh, God. Now, Everybody... Greg, these are pretty cool. They are. Uh, uh, here. Here uh, no, don't touch my computer with it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to burn it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I just, need that. Let's bring that one over here. Let me see. Oh, God. Yeah, give one to give one of the uh, marionette things to, uh, to Woody there. He's got one. Oh, God. Yeah, look. Oh, it's, you know what? Greg, they're, look, they're even smaller than ah, the ones on the page. Sammy. See? Oh. See, look, look at the difference in ah, size. It's it's what, what was it? Oh my what? god. What happened? I what? thought it was alive. <laughs> <laughs> what? It moved. What? No, oh. it didn't. Yeah. Uh, Greg, what if I, I didn't told realize you? This. Now look at the difference yeah, in the was pulling on it. The, the, the one that was on the page is way bigger. It is. This one's just a wee to be. It's just a wee to be. It's a kid. Now, Greg, what if I told you there are actually 190 different species of cicada just in North America? And over 3,000 cicada types worldwide. Um, oh, boy. On Woody's hand. Yeah, I would, okay, I'm Sammy, you're close enough. Greg, I haven't heard. What if, what if I Greg's told you that? Greg's brought his, or Seabass brought I... a serving platter in here. Oh, wow. Now, Greg. I'm really close to peeing in my pants right now. <laughs> a no. lot of people in North America. A lot of lo- no. Oh, he's oh God. Woody's touching his face he's with it. He's giving you a kiss. Oh, God. You know baby. God. You need a baby. By the way, these are dead cicadas, folks. Yeah, they're dead. That's what yeah, Greg's I, thinking I, about. I, I know. I think you guys have realized that my fear is real. So, Greg, yeah. now a lot of folks, millions of young children. I remember when I was a little kid, and we had these in Nashville, and it was super cool to go out and look at them, play with them. But they didn't get to see the international version, so I ordered from Vietnam some international cicadas Ooh, for you to take a look at. International? What? Yeah, you know, because we're all about diversity. Oh, oh, oh dang, dang dude. Oh, <laughs> Holy wow, crap. Those are oh. huge. Those look like birds. Oh. Oh, They're all in plastic. Sick. They're oh, in- look at that one right there. Ah. It's in plastic. Can you pick the one in plastic? They're in plastic. They're Can you pick plastic. it up? They're wrapped in plastic for tax for dermy purposes. They're in plastic. Right. It's not even the... Oh, uh, I don't know. It's in plastic. Face your fears. Hey, Ravy, why don't you... Uh. Look, at, look at the ones with the big long noses. Yeah. yeah. Give a kiss to proboscis. Wow, this one is oh. gigantic. Oh. If you're just tuning in, this is Science with Seabass, and we are exploring oh, cicadas. With this one kind of looks like a butterfly. Like, look it's at so cute. Kind of, yeah, they're really big. Now, oh, Greg, can you, you pick? Can you pick one up? They're in plastic. They are wrapped in plastic. One? They're pinned oh, down. Oh, no, They've been dead for oh, probably a year. Yeah, that one. You know, look. <laughs> but now, Greg, you've noticed that the North American cicadas—they only—they have clear wings. Look at the cool, different coloring yeah. wings we have on these Vietnam cicadas. I literally just kissed one. I think you can pick one up in plastic. And I promise it didn't bite. Grab that big, like five-inch one. About biting. Grab this guy. And no! Fun... Oh, oh my look. God, that was I'm huge. I'm really close to peeing in my pants. And that's a fun fact. Ooh, cicadas don't fun. bite. They don't. Oh. They don't feed on humans Look, at all. It's just yeah. like picking up cardboard. I'll, uh, I'll, right here, t- I'll put here. it in your. Yeah, hand. put it in my hand. Oh yeah, yeah. Greg, close your eyes. <laughs> close, this way you don't. You won't know it's coming. <laughs> and just know it's it's wrapped in plastic. Looks like Greg's hand is out. Close your eyes. No, because no. I know what you're gonna no, do. No, because no. Ravy's gonna put it in your hand. I gave it to Ravy's gonna put it in your hand. It's Ravy. She's not gonna hurt you. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it dropped. That was that big, like, four-inch piece <laughs> yeah. of can. Can you describe the wings? The wing color is lovely, isn't it, Randy? It's an, it's an amber. Uh, what are you what? doing? <laughs> I can't be in this room anymore. It almost yeah. looks like a monarch uh, butterfly. Right. Yeah. And that's what that's a kid. Uh, and, Greg, I, you can go online on YouTube, and you can watch Vietnamese people will go at night. this one? Oh, it's smaller. It's, it's a little gross. black. That's smaller. That's yeah. a cute one. You want to try it again? Hand it's out? got some really nice coloring. All right, yeah. Oh. Orange and black. It's, the only thing touching your hand is cardboard. I understand. Okay. Okay. Right. Do it. Uh, <laughs> okay, look, oh, Greg, it. you're it's so brave. Yes, yeah, so look brave. at the bravery. Greg, wow. you're like a firefighter. You're so brave. <laughs> well done. All right, you want to well do another done, game? Uh, no. I'll have like a raw one in one hand and one of the wrapped ones in the no. other hand. You have to guess left or right. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Greg, we're not done with show and tell. Oh. So yeah. uh, back to your, your coloring thing for little kids. Wait, hold on one second. Here, Greg, hold this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's nothing what do you think for that? <laughs> you know that's I like, have a bad like, back. That's like the Cartnarks fake out. Oh. Yeah, it is. Greg, Greg I'm going to whiplash again. Drenched right. in sweat. Yeah, I got some loose ones to pass around and take a look at while we're talking okay. about it. Yeah. Oh, so oh, again, we had this year, we had Brood 19 and Brood 13. Mm. Uh, weird fact, Brood 19, they come out every 13 years. Come on, guys, wow. get your names right. <laughs> Jeez. And Brood, uh, brood uh, 13 too confusing, yeah. comes out every 17. Come on, guys. What the hell? Now, how did you procure the ones in the box? So the ones in the box, these are actually live, no, well, dead cicadas from Illinois. And they, because oh. what happens, as you saw in your life cycle, Greg, is oh. once these cicadas emerge and get out of their shell uh-huh. and molt into adults, they they breed, 
lay eggs. What do they do? The female lays her eggs by. She's got a little, that little, and you can see it on the, some of those Vietnamese cicadas, these mm-hmm. big, very long egg laying uh, ovipositor, as they say. Oh, sure. Egg depositor. And they put those underneath the, the uh, bark of trees, mm-hmm. 200 to 400 eggs at a time. And those little eggs, those little those little rice things you talked about, right? They wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> yeah, little cuties, and they they feed on the tree sap, <sighs> and then they they're gonna be coming out over the next few weeks. Okay. That, that takes uh, six to eight weeks or so, depending on the species. I have a solution. What's that, Red Greg? Let's cut down all the oh, trees. He's cutting oh, he's got now. All now the you want to cut down the trees? Yeah, I want to cut them down and burn them all. You're typically a pretty big environmental guy. I know. About, but this is no longer. Yeah. And a lot of people think that once because once they go once they come out of the branches, they don't look like those fun cicadas you have in yeah. front of you that Menace is playing with. Mm-hmm. Right. What they they're actually they're little like almost white little ants almost. Yeah. And they fall to the ground and burrow. Oh. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> and when they're underground, a lot of people think, well, it's thirteen years, seventeen years, they just sit there and sleep. No, no. The yeah. whole time they're digging around and sucking on, you know, uh, roots from grass and trees and things like that. <laughs> yeah, and the sound they make too. The sound. Oh is, yeah, I got some I of that mean, in the. Um, they're sucking on the root. Yeah. And only, yeah. only the males hear, make yeah, the, sound. the sound. Like? Oh, sure. is that true? Only the males. Only I didn't the males. know that. That's a fun fact. That is a fun fact. All right, here's the natural cicada. Oh God. Now, can you hold one while you're listening? To this? No, <laughs> I can't hold one ever. <laughs> All right. oh, a little bit. And that could be a 80 to 120 decibels. Yeah, they're very loud. The bells, they're very loud. So then, thirteen years, seventeen years, uh, sometimes. But they have what, certain species of cicada that are every year, Greg. So you can see this every year. Okay. But they don't come out in the millions and billions and trillions right. like we had this year. Right. And when they come out, now they don't. They aren't fully formed like this one that's dancing in front of you. Man, let's get that closer so we can see it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They come out and they're yeah. still not in their full adult stage. So okay. they have to molt mm-hmm. and get rid of their shell. Right. And I've got about a hundred different shells. You want to pass those over oh. to Greg? Oh, now these are just the shells. Oh, this is yeah. what everybody steps on. So the, the, they're this, all gold. So the, yeah. the bug's not even pretty. Can you describe you them, Greg? Gold, Greg? Oh the bug's not even in there god. anymore, Greg. That's just the shell. Oh <laughs> god. It's like an empty oh, it's an empty it's a Tupperware <laughs> plastic <laughs> looking bug. <laughs> they're, they're, but they're they're not bugs. That's it's li- just, that's just bug, bug skin. I know, but it's just so disturbing. It's like you know, a snake. Mm. You no, know, it looks Shedding. like it's like you went to like a peel and eat shrimp thing. Yep. Kinda, yeah. And the, yeah. And the shells that are the shells that are left over, but they're cicadas instead of shrimp. <laughs> yeah, look, Ravy's even holding one. I bet you put that in your hand, right? I bet you could do that. Yeah. No, yes, you could, baby. No. Yeah, no. because it's just the the outer. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You see these? Like, you'll, look, we used to pick these off trees, and like I said, we throw them in people's hair because they have those little pincers on them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Greg, stick it in your hair. No. Like yeah, a flower crown. Can we put one in your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Greg, no. You can, you can hold one right. of the shells. You answered everything is no. Uh, so I said, I just had to Google this. I've never seen these before, but I'm 100% with Greg. Burn everything. Yeah, burn all the trees. <laughs> I'm sure they would survive an apocalypse. Well, they, they, they are yeah, they underground. M- and in fact, cicadas don't emerge until, fun. Uh, here's a little fact, the top eight inches of soil wow. need to be at least 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Then after a warm rain... And now little dugans come out and they get little, sh- they get little they shells start like to that. emerge. Yep. So okay. annoying so we with have the to noise. Burn, burn then, down all the trees, churn up all the soil, yeah. and put ice on top. And then the, you know what they do? The yearly Once burn they, and churn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you know what they do? Once they emerge, destroy your life. No, they sing a song. We party to the hill because we don't have long. This is the cicada song. Yeah. yeah see? Cool. This is what the sound they make. We sing. It took a lot of years just to get to this. Now we're in cicada bliss. I ain't got much of a voice, but I like to sing. I make a little music with my cicada wings. My like he's swinging. Are red, but I'm not stoned. He's swinging toward you, Greg. I'm glad you're happy. happy. There you go. Well, that's uh, science with sea bass. I did learn a lot. Yeah, we learned about we learned about cicadas. All right, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that up. He's not just going to pee. He's also going to poop. More Woody Show next. With a little extra effort, I think we can up our likability. The Woody Show will be right back. Fast. Learning so much today about cicadas. Mm-hmm. You all right, Greg? What did you say, Greg? This is how you feel when you fly? Yeah, the, the way I felt, like sweating, uh, having a hard time breathing, having abject terror. <laughs> that, uh-huh. Like that entire segment. And... Mm. and Edgy and scared. That's how I feel every nanosecond on a stupid flight. It's fun. But what if? Let me ask you this. What if the cure for that, like you could fly with no stress, you are at ease, mm-hmm. but the you had to eat like a cicada. 
Like, in other words, like, you eat one cicada <laughs> before a flight, and you are totally then, chill. Yeah. Like, you don't need anything else. In I, fact, like, you're loving it. Like, you're having a uh -huh. great time. Really? Would you do that? Um, You know what? One, well, one fear to get over the other. Probably not. Really? I okay. think the bugs might be one... You know, a head of flying. A head of flying. How about because yeah. he will get on a plane? Like he yeah, won't even I mean, touch one of these things. Right. No, yeah, no, huh. can't. Flying for the rest of your life, only one cicada. You have mm, to eat that. It would make the fear go mm. away. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> wow, uh -huh. I don't feel like I ever That's need real. to fly. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a guy in Texas. He is uh, halfway to his 90 pound weight loss goal. Jeez. He got this new uh, bariatric surgery that involves magnets. It's nice. called Levita Magnetic Surgical System, MARS for short, and it uses fewer surgical incisions, meaning less pain, faster recovery, fewer scars. And so it's a grasper with a small magnetic end, and it's placed under the skin to grip and retract the tissue and the organs that they need to do in order to get your procedure done. And the grasper is controlled by this external magnet on a robotic arm. And the surgeon operates that robotic arm and a second arm that holds the camera to see inside... Uh, so when they can see what they're doing, and it seems pretty cool. Hmm. Right. Faster recovery, because that's always one of the yeah. things for people that get that bariatric right. uh, surgery. And this is with magnets? That's so strange. Yeah, they're just using magnets to, you know, to do the help the, uh, the Move tools. Move things around. Move things around. Wow. So I thought that was pretty cool. That is very cool. In other uh, stuff here, we have, uh, for all you readers out there, a new book on the shelves about butt sex. Ooh. Oh. oh. It is called Butt Seriously. Get the hmm. book, written by Dr. Evan Goldstein, who calls himself the leading anal health expert in the U.S. <laughs> anal health. And, yeah, and he's... he's Good for uh, you, Dr. Goldstein. And it, this, is, this is being called the anal Bible. Uh-huh. It's basically a how-to guide for butt stuff. <laughs> Something we didn't know we needed. Right, exactly. Like, maybe this didn't exist, and so he just, uh, he created yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I saw a need, and I created it. Here is Dr. Evan Goldstein talking about why he decided to write the book. I started a practice uh, about 14 years ago called Bespoke Surgical in New York. I started to serve communities, right? Gay community, post-pregnancy. You started to kind of put a lot of the differences together into why are people thinking certain things, a lot of myths and taboos versus why are people not getting the sexual education that they need? Okay. All hey, right. I guess there, right. there's definitely a market for that. In sure. case you're wondering, he's gay as well. Oh. So you'd be very comfortable talking to somebody with firsthand experience, you know? <laughs> Patients come to his office in New York City from all over for things like anal Botox, Greg. Anal Botox? Yeah. <laughs> what? I know I know you like Botox. I well, yeah. you don't. Your Here's sphinct, a new one. You want your sphinx to be all rink. Uh, I'm getting. Yeah. Also, testing of their rectal and anal muscles for grip and pliability. <laughs> And also to pick up mm. supplements and hygiene kits that are sold under Dr. Goldstein's own label. Ooh. Oh, right. oh. Yeah. Stuff. Hygiene butt kits. Butt stuff. <laughs> A doctor named Evan Goldstein. I am surprised. The butt. The oh. butt. The right. butt. He's the expert in the butt. Well, I'm sure that book will do well. Oh, yeah. Yes, It says definitely. anal Botox. Is, anal Botox. It's actually not cosmetic, Greg. It, what, is like, it? Is, what is it? Yeah, uh, what's it for, then? It is to cause relief for spasming. Mm. So, like, if you're just okay. like... Oh, 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 yeah. And you can't relax. Because right. 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 Exactly. you got to be able to relax and breathe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plenty of lube. Very, oh, control yeah. the pace. Very key. Because Botox paralyzes the muscles. That's mm. what it does. Right. Yes. Yeah, so it allows you to... Yeah. Uh, it allows you to accept. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. The butt. But. Right. <laughs> yeah. So again, it's it's called Butt Seriously, B-U-T-T -T Seriously. Dr. Evan Goldstein, pick uh, it up and add it to your reading list today. There's an audio book, too. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. Hey, you might be good for like an interview roulette. That'd be a fun uh, listen. Yeah. Well, or Menace's Higher Education. I'm down. That'd actually be better. Yeah. Menace's Higher Education, super high, talking to the butt doctor. <laughs> I'm in. But, you know, yeah. about anal. The anal Bible. Right.